Hey dear friends, welcome back to the part uh, part 13 of Javafix tutorial. In the previous section, we worked with part uh, 11, <coughs> 12, and in this section, I want to work with part 13. So let's get started. In this section, I want to show you how you can work with JavaFX property. So let's get started. First, I want to create a new project. Oh, sorry. I want to create a new project. Java project. I want to proper want to name it proper demo and click finish and let's create a class this I want to make this as my main class inside the main package and also, I want to tick that. So, this is a class we have created. Okay. So, let's work with property. I want to show you the property concept uh, within a class. I name it, I want to name it person. So let's create another class inside the main.java file. Okay, now we have another class person. In this class, uh, I want to make a variable name ID of type integer property. Okay. Integer property ID. And I want to initialize this inside a constructor method. So I want to create a constructor method with a parameter integer ID. And then inside this, I want to initialize my ID of class simple integer property. Okay and i want to pass this id here now this id is this id so i want to reference it reference this from a class from this class person now it's okay now let's create our property we can create our property by a method i want to name it integer the return type should be integer property and i want to name it id with the name id and then type property okay and then and then let's return from here the id okay now we have our property and then let's make the set on get method so let's create that void set id okay and here an id we take as a parameter then i i want to call id property method dot set and call the set this id property returns an object of of integer property okay and we can call the method set of integer property so we can set that okay and then I want to create a method get ID okay this is a get ID 
Now I want to return the ID property dot get. So this is our person class which we use a variable of integer property. So let's use it. Use that I want to create an object of that class. Okay. Now I created an object of that class. We remove the default constructor method and we make it another method at name is at name is with a parameter uh, ID. Okay, so we should pass from here an integer. Okay, now we passed it and now if I want to call this person that get ID that will return the ID we passed in the constructor method as you can see there is 100 so we pass it from here also we can set that for example 200 and then you can copy this and print it, ag print it again okay as you can see 100 and 200 so that's great another way when you work with property there is a nice feature you can work with it is change listener when actually you when call person that set id this means you set you change or you want to update the id so an updating when the value changed uh, here we can create an event to listen the change value okay so i want to make a method i want to make a method uh, for example for example void set on value change okay set on value change set on value change okay and I want to get here an integer property okay can see I want to integer property okay mm, for example property proof and here I want to call by this the add listener method and inside this I want to use the change listener okay new change listener okay new change listener I want to make this new change listener of type number okay and then I want to create an, an animals class here now the change listener has an abstract method changed so we should write it okay public void change this changed method has three parameters one parameter is of type observable value okay observable value which extends actually which extends number so for the first time I don't want to use this extends okay observable value and I want to make this object new value 
and the third parameter the second parameter is old value and that third parameter is new value object new value okay now this change listener is created <clears throat> so I want to print here old value is the ol okay and also the new value is nv this all should be v okay so we have created this and this is actually the change license we created so when uh, I want to register this this does not mean register V because we ourselves created the set on value change method so I want to call this uh, I want to call Here I want to make this static. I want to call set on value change and I want to pass person that ID property. Okay. As you can see, I call it this method. And if I run, there is nothing will happen. As you can see, there is nothing. But when I update the value, okay, as you can see, the old value is 100 and the new value we updated is 200. Oh, nice. As you can see, here is the old value is 100 and the new value is 200. So if I make it this, for example, G um, 40 and let's make a line break here and let's run again. Oh, nice. As you can see, one, two, three, four, and three, five. Okay. This works nice. So you can make this. We have using number. So you can also use here number. Okay. You can extend from number class. Okay. And also you can make this number. And this also number okay now it's doesn't show any warning for us it is working nice so it's better we should use lambda expression so I want to copy this okay now you can remove this and instead of this we should use the lambda expression okay so I want to stop I want to stop this recording because I don't want to make no longer and then in the next video I will show you how we can work with lambda expression instead of this myself code okay this looks nice as you can see so let's stop recording thank you for your watch watching and see you in the next video and please subscribe to my youtube channel that is that is this channel okay you can type barname youtube.com barname is my channel
So goodbye.